Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'll be discussing the critical process died blue screen error that appears on Windows 10 and Windows 11. This error message states, your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart, followed by the stop code. There are several possible causes for this issue, including newly connected hardware devices or peripherals like printers or keyboards that may be faulty. It can also result from corrupted or outdated device drivers, or even a corrupted Windows installation. In this video, I'll walk you through simple and effective troubleshooting steps to resolve this error. By following them one by one, you'll likely have your issue fixed by the end of the video. If you're stuck on the same blue screen, you'll need to start your computer in advanced options. To do this, press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and restart your computer or laptop. While restarting your computer, keep holding the shift key until you see a black screen. You should see a please wait screen. Within a few seconds, your computer will display a blue screen with advanced options. Once you're on this screen, click on the troubleshoot option, then click on advanced options. Here you'll find several tools to help fix the issue. First, try startup repair. This option will automatically attempt to fix any Windows related issues. If startup repair doesn't resolve the problem, go back to the advanced options page and select command prompt. In the command prompt, we'll run a few commands to scan and repair disk errors. You'll find all the necessary commands in the video description. Simply copy and run them on your PC or laptop. The first command you'll need to run is bootrec.exe space forward slash fix mbr press enter and you should see a message saying the operation completed successfully. Next one will be bootrec.exe space forward slash fix boot press enter again. If you receive an access is denied error, don't worry, you can move on to the next command. Next type bootrec.exe space forward slash scan os. Press enter. This will scan all disks for Windows installations. The process may take some time, so please be patient. Once the previous command is completed, type the next command bootrec.exe space forward slash rebuild bcd press enter next you have to type boot sect space forward slash nt60 space sys press enter sorry i made a typing mistake the correct command should end with sys but i accidentally typed ata let me correct it and you should see a message stating Boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volumes. Now, run a disk check to scan for errors. Type chkdsk forward slash f forward slash r after r. You need to specify the drive letter where Windows is installed. In most cases, this is the C drive. So enter C colon press enter. This command will scan the disk for errors and attempt to fix them. The process may take some time, so please wait until it completes. Alright, this command has finally completed. To be honest, it may take some time, so patience is key. Now, run the final command, sfc forward slash, scan now, press enter. This command will also take some time, but not too long. Wait until it reaches 100% completion before proceeding. All right, the process is complete and the message says, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Now that we've run all the necessary commands, type exit, press enter, then click continue to restart your computer and check if the issue is resolved. If the problem persists, return to the advanced options page, click troubleshoot, then advanced options and click on startup settings then click on restart button. Once the system restarts, you'll see several options. First, try selecting disable early launch anti-malware protection by pressing the eight key. Your computer will reboot with this setting disabled. If the issue still isn't fixed, go back to startup settings and try selecting disable automatic restart after failure to see if that helps. All right, you can try these two options. I understand that this troubleshooting process takes time, but it's necessary to resolve the issue. If none of these methods work, go back to startup settings, but this time, boot into safe mode. 
You'll see safe mode listed as option 4. Press the F4 key on your keyboard. Your computer will then restart in safe mode. Once in safe mode, you'll see a different interface, and in the bottom right corner of the screen, you'll find the safe mode label, confirming that you've successfully entered this mode. Now, open the Windows search bar and type Disk Cleanup. From the search results, click on Disk Cleanup to launch the tool. Now select the C drive and click OK. The system will now calculate the amount of space that can be freed. Let it complete the process. Once done, you'll see a window displaying a list of files that can be deleted. Here, select all the options, including Microsoft Defender antivirus files, temporary files, and other unnecessary system files. You may also see the Recycle Bin option. If you don't need the files stored there, check this box as well. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. Ensure all other options remain selected, then click OK, followed by Delete Files. Windows will now remove junk files, which will resolve lots of system issues. Once it's done, next go to Windows Search and type Run and open the Run application. In the Run dialog box, type this command. Make sure to enter the command exactly as shown. Then click OK. A new window will open titled troubleshoot and help prevent computer problems. Click on advanced and ensure the apply repairs automatically option is checked. Click next and the system will begin detecting any issues related to hardware or connected devices. Wait for the scan to complete. It will identify any existing problems with your computer's hardware. Once the scan is done, it will ask you to select a device to troubleshoot. Choose your device and after another scan, you may see a message like Device install settings. Windows is currently not set to check for the most up-to-date drivers. If this option appears, ensure it is enabled. You may receive similar recommendations. Simply follow the on-screen instructions and apply the suggested fixes accordingly. Once you are done, next open the Windows search bar and type Control Panel and click on it. In the Control Panel, look for Programs and Features and open it. Here, check for any recently installed applications or programs. Sometimes, installing a new application can cause issues. If you suspect that a recently installed program is causing the problem, right-click on it and select Uninstall. You should also check for recent Windows updates. On the left-hand menu, click on View Installed Updates. This will show a list of updates that have been installed on your system. If you believe that a particular update is responsible for the issue, look at the most recent updates based on the installation date and uninstall them. Once you've uninstalled any problematic programs or updates, click on the Windows icon, select the power icon and restart your computer. Check if the issue is resolved. If you're still facing the blue screen problem and nothing has worked so far, you'll need to go back into advanced startup options. Force shut down your computer three times to enter the recovery mode. Once you're in the advanced options menu, click on troubleshoot, then go to advanced options and select system restore. If a restore point was created earlier, click next. Choose a date when your computer was working fine. If there is no restore point available or restoring your system doesn't work, the next step is to perform a power flush. If you are using a PC, turn it off completely and disconnect all cables, including the power cable, VGA cable, and any other connected peripherals. Also, unplug the power source from the wall socket. Once everything is disconnected, press and hold the power button for about 20 to 25 seconds. After that, reconnect all the cables, plug the power source back in, and turn on the computer to check if the issue is resolved. For laptop users, remove all external devices and disconnect the charger. Then, press and hold the power button for 25 to 30 seconds. After that, reconnect the charger and turn on the laptop to see if the problem is fixed. If the issue persists, the final step is to reset your PC. Go back to the advanced options menu, click on troubleshoot and then select reset this PC. You'll have two options, keep my files or remove everything. If you don't want to lose your personal data, choose keep my files. Next, you'll be given two reinstall options, cloud download and local reinstall. If you have a stable internet connection, it's recommended to choose the cloud option as it provides the best results. 
However, you can also go with the local reinstall if needed. This is the final solution. Hopefully, one of the methods mentioned will help you fix the blue screen issue. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.